When you find a vulnerability for a company or an organization, whether or not it's in their products, their software, or their website, do you know how to report the vulnerability? Maybe in some cases they have a bug bounty program or a trust and safety sort of a responsible disclosure process, but sometimes you just don't know. Wouldn't it be nice if there were a little bit more of a standard and some sort of framework that could actually outline, hey, here is the security point of contact and here's how you can reach a lot of the security professionals behind a company, website, or organization. Now, hey, I'm over here in my Kali Linux virtual machine, and I wanted to show you one small task from a recent Capture the Flag challenge. It's super simple, super easy, but look, this was a cutesy little task that I put together for the recent Sneak Fetch the Flag CTF event that I helped co-host with them some weeks ago, and I thought it would be worthwhile to showcase to you, even if it is kind of small and simple. By the way, huge thanks to Sneak for letting me co-host with them. If you're interested in how they can help you secure your software, there's a link in the video description. So I created this super small task called 9116. The challenge description said, hey, we found a vulnerability in this company's products or website, but we just can't track down how we should report any security issues. We're trying to find a point of contact and nothing's happening. It says, here's their website. Maybe you can find out how we can reach them. And this is it. This is the RFC 9116 website for the challenge, for the task. Here's some fictitious company literally called RFC 9116 or 9116. That's a little bit of the joke here. Hey, a little cutesy. Here's a small bootstrap website that showcases their services. And especially, oh, their communication with security issues is unparalleled in the marquee kind of, hey, hinting at all this, the hope is that you would go and Google and maybe do some research, maybe go track down what is this RFC 9116. That was very intentional with the name of the challenge, the company and everything here, because I wanted you to go research if you weren't familiar, say you'd go Google and search for RFC 9116. And this is it. Here's a file format to aid in security vulnerability disclosure. Take a look, it's the RFC here. And RFC is the acronym for a uh, request for comments, I believe. But look, here is this actual, literally put together standard for how security vulnerabilities, when they're discovered by researchers like you and me, anyone playing capture the flag or just cybersecurity practitioners, maybe there aren't very good or known in public, easily recognizable reporting channels. So let's find some common ground here. Let's kind of define literally a security.txt file. And that's it. That's all it is. If you want to dig into it, hey, you could check out some of the motivation prior work and scope for the security researchers that wanted to have some standard place or some good old convention for a security.txt file that contains information as to how you can contact the security folks at a company, business, organization, whatever. It includes comments. It can be digitally signed. It can have any other pieces here. Maybe a little hall of fame or acknowledgement section for other security researchers that have done great work. But ultimately, the contact field is one of the most important pieces. There are a lot of great details in the RFC, but sometimes, I don't know, just that plain text might be hard to parse through. This is the website, securitytext.org, which is just, hey, Credit where credit is due. All this put together by Ed Overflow and Yakov Shafarinovich. I'm so sorry. Might get your name wrong there. Uh, but this is it. The question is, where would we find this? Step one showcases it right here and there. All it needs is a security.txt file under the .wellknown directory of your project. So on the website, you just go to .wellknown slash security.txt. Now it's not always there, and maybe in some cases you can't put it in the .wellknown directory, but if you put it still at the root of the website, it's good and set here. And you could just put this all together, you fill in the forms here, and that just makes the security.txt file for you. I don't want to keep beating you over the head with this, but if you're interested, the frequently asked questions are kind of nice. Hey, you get a little bit more of the motivation here. And there is a good, hey, showcase from Live Overflow. Always credit and kudos to him. Looks like this was a uh, April Fool's Day joke where they make fun of the fact Live Overflow and Ed Overflow are a little bit similar and Live was taking credit for it. Kind of fun, kind of cheesy. <laughs> So with that in our back pocket, this CTF challenge, if I even call it that, is pretty easy, right? We just go to dot well known, a little hyphen in between there, in our URL or address bar, and we're looking for the security.txt file, right? Well, hit enter, and 
there it is. That's all that we wanted to showcase. Here's the flag right in the preferred language little uh, metadata here or any of the information. But of course, the contact is the most important part. And uh, oh, some cutesy little PGP encrypted digital signature there just as well. Now, I know this isn't like super duper elite. We're not doing any crazy hacks or vulnerabilities or exploits ourselves, but I do think this is pretty good to know. And if you don't have a security.txt file for your website, for your organization, for your business, let me ask you why? I think you should. I think everyone should have a security on text file and outline and define and make it easy to find the reporting process and that security contact for everything that you do in the world, right? With that super short video, super short showcase, super simple and easy CTF challenge, just wanted to put it on your radar if you haven't seen it before. Go make your own security text file, slap it on your website, slap it on whatever you can. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.